Thanks, Mr. White. Here's a solving for x trigonometric equation. Um, this one's a little bit interesting in the sense that uh, well, so many of the IB problems have form a quadratic and you end up factoring. This isn't the case in this one. I see a sine squared and a cosine squared. And then there's nothing added to this, so I can easily make a tangent squared. So I'll start from the beginning here. Um, if I divide by cosine on both sides, I get 3 sine squared x over cosine squared x equals 1. And then 3 tangent squared x equals 1. Divide by 3, I get tangent squared equals 1 third. And take the square root, I get tangent x equals, don't ever forget this, plus and minus 1 over root 3, which is the same thing as plus and minus 1 over root 3. So these are our values. I need to find out what angle x is tangent 1 over root 3. Well, if I go to a unit circle here, I have one saved. Tangent There. So this angle right here, pi over 3, the point is 1 half comma root 3 over 2. This point right here is root 3 over 2 comma half. So if I want to find the tangent at these points, I can say, okay, root 3 over 2, sine, divide cosine. So the y value, root 3 over 2, divide the x value, divide 1 half. You can see that these twos will cancel. I'm left with root 3 over 1, which is root 3. This one, 1 half, sine, divide cosine. Twos cancel, and I'm left with 1 over root 3. So that's what I want right there. It's the same thing. So that's positive root 3 over 2. That's positive divided positive is a positive. And then this one over here, the same exact uh, x and y value, but opposite, that's negative root 3 over 2, comma positive 1 half. So when I divide these, I get negative 1 over root 3. So my x values are x equals 30 degrees, and x equals 150. And if the question was in radians, it'd be pi over 6, and 5 pi over 6.